Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that Disney has had the worst year throughout all of 2023, and it will continue to get worse as the stocks never make a rebound throughout the rest of this year, and let alone more box office failures, such as the Marvels that is looming for November 10th. It's still slated for that release date. There's no delay as of right now. And they also have 2024 with the Snow White live action remake in March. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into what's going on with Jon Favreau. Now you guys may very well know Favreau from The Lion King, The Jungle Book, The Mandalorian, and even The Book of Boba Fett. Now, Jon Favreau has been with Disney and Lucasfilm for quite a number of years now, building up his momentum that sadly eventually fell apart, let's be clear. You know, this was all due in part to how Kathleen Kennedy was leaning more to the side of Dave Filoni behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm. However, one alarming update that has to do with Jon Favreau and his role at Disney getting largely diminished has a lot to do with not just Kathleen Kennedy, but also the Disney higher-ups. A lot of the board members, Bob Iger himself, the CEO, and a lot more attached to what's happening with Lucasfilm as a company with the Lucasfilm purge that is looming for 2024 that's going to reduce a lot of employees, number of projects, creators, and more. Let's discuss. Now, with Disney and Lucasfilm attempting to course correct the Star Wars franchise and Lucasfilm as a company, one important development has to do with director, writer, and producer Jon Favreau. Now, one shocking turn of events has to do with what Kathleen Kennedy recently did to Jon Favreau involving Dave Filoni. As it turns out, Kathleen Kennedy was given the green light by Disney after her major request to banish Jon Favreau from the sets of Dave Filoni's upcoming Star Wars movie, the Thrawn and Ezra Bridger spin-off series that will serve as a prequel to the Ahsoka Tano show that is in active development, as well as another untitled series. This was a full-on decision that was proposed by Kathy Kennedy to the Disney higher-ups that was quickly accepted by Disney as Dave Filoni has been receiving more deals with Kathy to obtain more Star Wars projects, essentially. While Favreau was getting slowly phased out, not only this, but Favreau was also removed as a co-writer for Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie. He was initially promised by Kathy and the higher-ups at Disney to get that position to help write the movie that is now no longer on the table and he will not be allowed to visit the sets either. He has been banished from the sets of that film and at least three Star Wars TV shows in general that will now be led by Dave Filoni. While Jon Favreau's Mandalorian Season 4 is now in a limbo phase as Disney tries to turn Season 4 into a full-fledged Star Wars movie with a new writer and director instead. However, this is just a pitch being crafted by Disney at this time and nothing is finalized as of yet. Now guys, let me just, you know, pause here quick before we get to the next big development about all of this. Now, you guys may very well know Jon Favreau and how he got into Star Wars. So, I don't know if you knew this, we talked about this, but Jon Favreau really got his in with The Lion King and The Jungle Book. He obtained his Disney contacts uh, through all of that, and that's how he got the Mandalorian gig. You know, we know that... Everything related to Disney right now is the fact that this really is a big mess. They are dropping creators like the snap of a finger and they're choosing to go with more people that are more lenient toward their DEI agenda that is heavily flawed and hypocritical at many times. I mean, just look at what they're doing with Snow White. They're not hiring dwarfs, but they're hiring people of all different ranges of heights ethnicities and genders that ditches the source material but not to get too off subject there let's focus on what's going on with Favreau now the thing about Favreau this is exactly why you're not hearing too much about Mandalorian season 4 and no it doesn't have anything to do with the WGA strike and everything happening with SAG this season is intentionally put in limbo by Disney. They don't know what to do with this season. There's a lot of talk right now, a lot of conversations behind closed doors that 
they want to create this into a movie to kind of finalize the Mandalorian as a show before they phase it into Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie and to either put that on Disney Plus or to bring it out in theaters is another discussion on the table. But what's even all the more concerning for Favreau as a creator, as a director, producer, writer, whatever have you, is the fact that he is being banished from the sets by Kathleen Kennedy for not just Dave's movie, but like I said before, for three other Star Wars TV shows that are not connected to The Mandalorian per se, but will be led by Dave Filoni. And this seemingly connects to those ongoing rumors from last year. You guys may recall that Dave apparently got a lot of deals and gigs as a writer, all because of Kathleen Kennedy and siding with her and her requests and her ideas to be spilled into his creations. And I don't know about you, but it's seemingly more realistic at this point in time that that is indeed true. But moving onwards, all right? Now, Favreau was reportedly very argumentative over these decisions by Kathy Kennedy that were accepted and greenlit by those like Bob Iger and many of the board to focus more on Filoni than Favreau. This could also allude to why Favreau has been overly quiet lately also as a director and producer speaking out about Lucasfilm and his views on Star Wars as a director and producer mainly as well as The Jungle Book and Lion King as well. Disney is also letting go of Jon Favreau from other Lion King spin-offs as producer and as a writer, something he was initially also attached to. Favreau reportedly got fired and removed from a planned Scar spin-off movie and also a planned reboot of The Jungle Book already by Disney that will promote their DEI agenda. Again, we talked about this. They are planning to essentially remake their remakes, which is crazy. They want to do this with Jungle Book, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Beauty and the Beast, basically all these live action remakes before this major woke era by Disney where they went downhill. They're going to make it even worse, and it's all deliberate at this point. Now, say what you will about Favreau. He did have a hand in the Book of Boba Fett, he did have a hand in Mando Season 3, but it wasn't all just on him as to why those were so lackluster. It also had a lot to do with Kathleen Kennedy's ideas spilling into those shows, and how Favreau was put in that position as well. Now again, I think that Favreau has talent in some areas, but doesn't have talent in other areas. So there's a lot of things going on over at Disney, and it just goes to show you that they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're talking about. The future is bleak. I don't believe that we're going to see this Dave Filoni movie, to be quite honest, because the strikes are going to delay this even further. You're not going to see this movie probably till 2027 at this point, maybe even 28. And at that point in time, who was looking that far ahead? Raise your hand, everybody. Who's looking that far ahead, really? Practically nobody at this point, right? So I think at this time, Disney just needs to put you know, a big, you know, break on everything. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Fill me below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.